Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we'll be talking about the 2022 update for the characters and also let's talk about Dark Riders and Soul Riders because they'll be being updated too. So let's get into it. Before we do, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, and also don't forget I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers before Christmas so let's do it. So, I wanted to talk about this today because I saw the article that Star Stable posted on their blog and basically our characters that we play as will hopefully be updated, which means that we will have a variety of skin colors to pick from and also on top of that more realistic hairstyles and different body types. I think this is great especially for the skin colors because now Hopefully everyone could be represented in the game. I'm really excited for the different body types because when it comes to the female body, like, it doesn't matter what your weight is. Everyone has their own body type. And I personally am, I believe, a triangle if I look at the human body type system. And from what I'm seeing in the game, I'm pretty sure that the body type we have in the game is pretty much the basic rectangle. I could be wrong. But although I love that body type, I am not that in real life. So it'll be really cool that Star Stable is basically updating the characters completely. So that way we could actually see ourselves in the game. So now hopefully, regardless of weight or ethnicity, everyone could see themselves in the character they play as. Next up, let's talk about the Dark Riders. So basically, there is, I believe, four Dark Riders. Sabine... Jessica, which is now Jay, Katia, and I have no clue how to pronounce the next Dark Rider. Um, I also do not remember her, and I don't remember Jessica as well. I didn't play the original game, so I have no clue what's going on. But basically, I do remember Katia though. And from what I'm seeing, I don't really mind Jessica's or Jay's update. I think it's fine. I think Katia looks great. And I think the other Dark Rider looks great too, but they do remind me of the girl from South Hoof who is... I forgot her name, but she reminds me of that, so the last one doesn't really give off Dark Rider vibes. If anything, she gives off Harley Quinn vibes mixed with the girl from South Hoof. But now this is where we get more in depth because I personally am not a fan of Sabine. Because, listen, although the graphics for these new characters look pretty good. I just don't think the graphics for Sabine look very Sabine-like because if you look at Sabine in the original game, Sabine has always been this small, spoiled brat kind of equestrian who is basically like a teenager. That's her age group. And she's pretty much like, she's kind of vile, we know, because she's a dark rider. But she's obviously an equestrian who's very competitive. And she's very, like, from what I've seen in the old games that I have watched, she's very classy from what I could see. But if you look at the new Sabine, she does not look like herself at all. Like, it looks like they took Sabine and then made her an extra 12 years old. Like, they added 12 years to her. Maybe, you know what I mean? Because the Sabine that's updated doesn't even look like a teenager. It looks like maybe a person who's late 20s or maybe even 30. I'm really bad at guessing ages, but that's just kind of how I see Sabine. Sabine is also very broad and looks very, like, strong, which I'm totally okay with. I just don't really think it fits Sabine though, which I don't really care if you want to change your characters, but I don't really like how Star Stable is constantly changing the storyline of their own characters or the features of their own characters. Like, nothing is ever set in stone, which is like so strange to me. I personally feel like they should have just left Sabine as more of a sassy, chic equestrian who is just spoiled and is just mean because she's a dark rider and that's that. I can't even say girl because she looks like an older person. The new Sabine reminds me of like a character who would be playing in like a motorcycle game. I don't know why, she just gives that vibe. 
Like, did Star Stable work hard on the graphics? Yeah. But does it fit the character? I don't think so. And that's why I have to start mentioning the Soul Riders, because apparently Anne may be getting an update, and if that's true, I don't know what they're doing, because that's so weird to me. Like, I'll actually... I like the current Anne. The Anne that we have now, the one that's been updated since Pandoria, I think she looks fine. I have no complaints about Anne. I also have no complaints about Linda or Alex. I think Alex is pretty fine. I didn't get to play the original games. I mentioned that before, but basically I was able to watch Let's Plays of them, and even if I didn't get to ever play the game, that doesn't mean that Star Stable could just, like, change their storyline, because then that way, like, nothing is ever set in stone, which is, like, weird. Like, wouldn't you rather your storyline be set in stone? Because from what I've seen from, like, looking back at the old story and how it used to be, Lisa was basically this, like, rock girl. Like, she was an outcast, and she's very much, like, she's very much what a lot of 14-year-olds are. She's very much what a lot of teenagers are and I could see myself like in Lisa because like I kind of relate like on a really deep level but instead of making her like this rock girl who is very like into music and is very like herself they completely changed her so if you look at the old Lisa and then compare it to the new Lisa they didn't just change the way she looks they also changed her personality completely like if you were to look at the old Lisa old Lisa rock very into music, very cool, rides English, I'm pretty sure. Look at the new Lisa, now she's more laid back, she's no longer, I think, viewed as an outcast, and she also doesn't even sing rock music, I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's like a western singer now, and her music is no longer rock, it's obviously, like, kind of soft, I'm not sure how to s describe it, but if you've heard the old songs and then compared them to the new songs, you would totally understand what I mean. And I just don't understand why Star Stable had to take Lisa and then change her completely. Like, I do not relate to the new Lisa at all. And from what I've heard, people are saying that Anne is actually going to be updated and no longer be a, basically, a stereotype of a spoiled rich girl who is very feminine. They're gonna change her into being, I think, more masculine. I could be wrong. This is just what I've heard, and I don't like it at all. Like, I just really don't. Like, I'd rather Star Stable stick to their original story because you can't keep changing it like how could you make a story and then keep changing the major factors about it like these are the main characters i feel like star stable should really just like level up themselves and realize that like they need a dedicated quest team because i feel like the characters they create are characters that they don't even know like how are you going to write a story about these people in yorvik and then have no clue what they even actually are. You know what I mean? Like, how could you keep changing the story and changing the characters and changing how they look? Like, I don't know. It's just hard to deal with Star Stable sometimes because the way that they, like, use their characters is so strange. Like, I feel like they're constantly changing their characters and it's like, why? I don't get it. Like, I feel the like the only reason they changed Lisa is so they could add Western stuff to the game, which, like... I'm pretty sure the only people who were asking for Western stuff in the game was, like, American players, which is, like, fine, whatever. But you didn't have to take Lisa and then make her into this new character. Like, I feel like all the Soul Riders actually died, and this is, like, just new characters. Like, why do they keep changing everything? I feel like they just don't know their characters, and I watched Eleanor Nightwalker a while back talk about her opinions, and, like, she's totally right. Like, Star Stable really doesn't know their own characters. Like, how could you keep changing everything? Like, if you're to write a story, you have to set it in stone. Like, if you want to go back and change things every now and then, it's difficult because the older players, they no longer could be like, this is how the story goes because the story changed. And if you're a newer player, you might even get confused because you're like, wait, we're no longer doing this, we're changing the... Okay, makes sense. Like, it doesn't. It really... It's just so weird. It's so strange. Like, I don't know why they can't just write their story, set it in stone, and move along. Like, why do they have to change their characters? Like, if you want to update them, that's fine. But if you're going to update them, make them look like themselves. They are no longer who they are. And when it comes to the Dark Riders, most of them are fine.
But Sabine is no longer Sabine. Like, how could you even say, oh yeah, Sabine is like a 16-year-old girl? Like, no. The new Sabine does not even look 16. The new Sabine doesn't even look like a teenager. It just makes no sense how they're constantly changing stuff. Like, I can't be the only one who feels that way. Like, how could you write a story and keep changing it? Like, I used to write fan fiction and change that a lot, but I wasn't even changing it. I was more like adding stuff to the storyline that would benefit the storyline, but when Star Stable changes stuff, they change the storyline. They change their plot. Like, how could you write a plot and then just change it? Because that's gonna, like, is that not confusing to you? Like, that just sounds so strange to me. Or they'll, like, change stuff that's in it. Or they'll get rid of stuff, or they'll add stuff in. Like, nothing's ever set in stone, and that's why it bothers me. Like, I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself, but it just makes no sense to me. Like, how could you... Like, Star Stable, I'm pretty sure, has more than 100 workers. Like, I feel like by now they'd have enough people to get their story straight, but they actually... I guess they don't. Like, I don't... I don't understand. That's why I kind of let go of this storyline a few years ago. I used to love the storyline. I used to play the quest so often as much as I could, but I think 2018 is where I fell out of it because I realized, wow, I don't like this anymore because they're changing things and they're getting rid of stuff and it's like the storyline is no longer the storyline. It just don't make sense. Like, there's no point in me learning the storyline because they're going to change it and then I'll have to go back and learn it all over again. Like, Whatever. Anyway, tell me your opinions in the comments. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!